The Navy was the first to tell you about an expensive high-tech system that Starflight hopes to pre will prevent crashes. Tonight, the Navy's Shelton Green takes you on an exclusive flight over Austin to see how the system works at night. He's live in West Austin with this story. Shelton? Tyler, a helicopter pilot's greatest danger at night is the unseen. Even TV towers like these on 360 can sometimes lose their lighting. Well, that's where new technology steps in. Of the 1,800 trips Starflight makes a year, a third of them are at night. And as you can see, we're at an altitude where everything is green, so this is the safe terrain. Flight visual techniques and night vision goggles help pilots to maneuver in the dark. Now air paramedics have a $26,000 piece of technology added to the toolbox. Caution, obstacle. Caution, Clear. obstacle. This is the alarm system for the terrain awareness and warning system. It's what Starflight pilots hear when they fly too close to an object, like antenna towers or even downtown buildings. Warning, obstacle. It would have shown the pilot that he was flying directly into a forest of trees. Christopher Waters wonders if this new technology could have saved his wife. It was, it was a pretty tough time. It was a really, really tough time. You never expect to go through something like that, you know, at our age. 27-year-old Stephanie Waters of Cedar Park worked as an air paramedic. On June 8, 2008, Waters was on a flight from Huntsville to Houston. After leaving that hospital, they ran into some, some inclement weather, some fog, and uh, lost visibility, apparently. The chopper crashed in Houston, killing Waters and three others. But unfortunately, they took a trip that another crew aborted because of unsafe weather conditions. And the result uh, was pretty predictable. Mike Slack, a former NASA engineer and pilot, is now an attorney representing the Waters family. But as long as an operator has skilled pilots, qualified to fly the machines, with enhanced technology, we can add a margin of safety to these air ambulance helicopter operations. Slack says when it comes to Starflight making night rescues like this one in January at Mount Bonnell, $26,000 is a drop in the bucket. That's great bang for the buck in terms of a, a, a safety buy-in. Now, we're told that the FAA is expected to make the terrain awareness warning system mandatory in all of the nation's medical helicopters at some point later on this year. We're live in West Austin, Shelton Green, KVU News Night Beat.